I'm here in Dayton, Ohio. Weller will just be flowing from the tap. We'll open it in the parking lot if you want. This was supposed to be just Weller lying in the floor down here, and it's not. Y'all are sitting on a throne of lies. I don't think we're going to find any. I'm here in Dayton, Ohio, the land of Weller. That's what I was told, right? Weller will just be flowing from the taps here in Ohio. So we're going to go into our first liquor store, and we are looking for Weller. We're going to see how cheap we could get Weller, but realistically, can we even get Weller? So tell me how it works here. Once a month. Once a month, but we, we get, don't know we when. Weller. This is early in the month mystery it might be in there we're gonna hit a few liquor stores and then tomorrow there's an allocated drop at one we're gonna catch that one in the morning before i have to road trip maggie over to louisville kentucky to do some barrel picks so what's this first store here arrow wine spirit big chain yes it's the biggest one in the area i can smell the scotch this irish whiskey right here <laughs> have you had those noble oaks we have you like those? I do. Bourbon finished with sherry oak staves. The sherry or the wine oak stave rye. We had the double oak. It's in Ohio. They plant a tree for every uh, one that you buy. Okay, so I'm saving the planet. They killed 17 trees to make the barrel. They planted one. We are saving the planet one tree at a time. This is MGP bottled by Noble Oak. We'll give it a try. What about OKI? I've been hearing good things about OKI. Sourced from MGP, it became New Riff and then sold OKI, distilled in Indiana. So I still think it's MGP. But this is a blend of low rye, high rye, rye corn, light whiskey. It's a blend of all sorts, all of the things. Oh, well, y'all let me know, did I mess up leaving that $90 OKI right there? Three chords. Produced in Michigan, distilled in Kentucky. So this is a blend. Some barrel seagrass right there. That is a very fancy bottle. I'm always scared of very fancy bottles. I have not tried that. It is a straight right. It's a nice looking bottle though. Well, they, yeah, they got straight bourbon. Bottled by High and Wicked, Harrisburg, Kentucky. Bottled by means they did not distill it. They will say distilled. Yeah, they'll they say they distilled. It's not a guarantee, but it, like, come on. If you distilled it, take credit for it. Sagamore rye cast cream. I will take that at $59. Which I love the. Sagamore Rye here. I haven't had the cash drink. Traverse City. That looks like somebody that would make their own whiskey. They do, and they, they got good stuff. How are you on Jefferson's? Is that your... Let's go through the lineup of Jefferson's. This Cabernet finish. I don't like anything Cabernet finish, so I'm, that's not their fault. I have not had this Twin Oak, but I didn't like anything else in this bottle shape, so I won't try that one. The Ocean. I haven't had the Rye. Don't know anything about the rye. The uh, aged at sea here, bourbon, it's really hit or miss. Just normal old Jefferson's Reserve, pretty good bottle of whiskey though. They do some experimentations on some things, you know, obviously the aged at sea and all that stuff, but then a lot of them I just don't like. But I can't hate on them for trying things. Do you like Cabernet? No? Then maybe you wouldn't like Cabernet finished whiskey? Cabernet is wine. It is, yes. We found somebody knows less than I do. That's tough to do these days. You say you got this one at your house? I have. All right, I'm going to leave it. We're being frugal for the first time. Like, I go a little crazy on these. And if we're going to keep doing more of them, which y'all are asking for, we got to be a little more frugal. So I'm going to try it at their house. If we like it, we'll buy it. Scotch, Irish whiskey, you need to None of them. Food. I passed on that Von Payne Black with the horse spout. I'm going to pass on it again, I think. <laughs> I'm going to continue to pass on it until somebody tells me it's good. Are you the guy that does the TikToks? I am the guy that does Next the TikToks. Oh, yeah, nice TJ. You. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, I actually man. follow you and watch your videos. Really? How to make stuff, yeah. I appreciate it. Of course. Of course. We're doing a little bourbon hunting video. You into bourbon? You like bourbon at all? Yeah, a little bit. No, Not so you're more into the mixed drink stuff? Yeah, more like vodka and all that. What's your favorite drink? What should I try? What video should we do next? Man. You're talking about the Von Payne. You ever had it? I have not had it, no. <laughs> recently, but recently it's been extremely sought out. Okay. That's a little uh, spout pour. Is it sought out for the spout pour or is it sought out because it's tasty? Honestly, I've heard nothing but good things about it. Well, well, well. How the turntables. Okay. I'm yeah. gonna... <laughs> it's your fault, Brody. All right. Bro this is Brody's fault. I was being fiscally responsible until Brody talked me into this Von Payne. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Oh, not too bad. So you like that? It makes me feel a little better because I was a little iffy on that that expenditure. I don't even know what to get. There's one cigar I really like, the Rana Buela Rum Gurkha. Like Gurkha, right there, see? Gurkha, right there, those. But they're Rana Buela Rum. 
There's your Pappy Van Winkle cigars right there for $16.29, which is less than I paid for the ones I have right now. Can I get the box? $3. The box is $3? Yes, I will take that. Yes, that is a deal. <laughs> Pappy Van Winkle Family Reserve. I've got a few of these at the house. So now we've got a box to store them in. Also got somebody to tote them a whiskey, which is nice. Look at that. If you want to be the next official Bruzel Whiskey toter, just invite me to your city and let me know. Next time I'm, I'm there, Y'all can come help me tote my whiskey. <laughs> Next stop, fine wine and true spirits. No false spirits here. Truth in spirits is that this is not the land of Weller. It's here. It's here, you think yeah, it's here? This yeah, is the this place? Is the Wanna bet? I got 20 right now. I bet you a bottle of 107. So if they don't have it, you owe me a bottle of 107. Yeah. They did not invest at all in the label. <laughs> Hocking Hills bourbon flows straight from a waterfall into in the, the barrel. Produced and bottled by Hocking Hills Moonshine. Produced is not the same. It not, I mean, it's a different word, like true and false, like Weller and not Weller. Can I modify my bet? If we find out a store before you leave town. Okay, that fair enough. This store. Does not have to be this store. I tried an Uncle Nearest. I want to say the one I have is the 1856. I thought it was all right. Is it bourbon? No, I think it's Tennessee. It's not bourbon. You know the story of Uncle Nearest. Freed Slave taught Jack Daniels how to make his whiskey, so apparently it's made through the same process, like the county process, where it's charcoal filtered before it is barreled. So that makes it a Tennessee whiskey. But then it's still kind of a bourbon. A lot of folks finishing stuff with black cherry around here. Did you grab a bottle? We don't even have I, anything. I'm, I'm looking. You want that George Pickle, don't you? <clears throat> if it comes in a box, does it make it better? Yeah, it makes it more expensive. I just bought some of those. I actually have some of those at home. How much are they here? Uh, yeah, they're more expensive here than the ones I bought. Ooh, right here. $15 right there. I shall take that. Have you had that? Absolutely. I'm just, just, just getting mad. So if you find yourself in Dayton, Ohio, or the surrounding area, apparently you want to go bourbon hunting Tuesday morning. Right now, I think we're going to go grab some beer and pizza. I, my, my diet's not going so well right now. Talladega killed it. I'm getting back on it though. I'm getting back on the horse. Y'all just chill out. I know y'all been seeing me eat some weird stuff in the last couple of videos, but I think I need a good beer and pizza night before we do that. Sound pretty good to y'all? Perfect. All right. Let's go find us some good beer and pizza. All right, so we got a game plan now. What we're gonna do is there's some bourbon drops tomorrow. And so we're gonna call the bourbon hunting on Sunday and then we're gonna go to some a bourbon drop in the morning to see if we can find Weller. But for dinner, we're gonna hit some pies and pints. How's it going? Okay. Not too bad, man, we got three. You guys like a beer list? Yes, please. Let me peep this beer list right here. What do we got? Ooh, man, there's a lot on tap here. Beer menu's a novel. It's like Moby Dick here, like this is, 50 pages of freaking beer. Is beer list yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't, I'll be honest with you, I did not realize that you did not have one. Okay. Thank you very much. I see. All right. I was not trying to be disrespectful. I just didn't know you didn't have a beer menu. So now that I know that though, I'm just going to hold on to it. Would you like the beer menu, sir? Thank you. I appreciate it. Good. How about yourself? Would you like something to drink, Mr. <laughs> beer Menu Man? Yes, I believe I would. Just bring me a sample of that brown nectar. Yeah, I think that one will be good. I think I like it. Here we go. I got some samples for All right. it. Okay. Tip number one at Pies and Pints, they give you large samples if you need them. This, this is interesting right now. I, I literally, I was like, I need to try that one. Dude. I think I have to bring me a sample. What do you think of that one? You want to give me a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. Not bad. Mm. Not bad. Little, little on the bitter, but if you like that kind of dark chocolate notes, you get a lot of that. I'm gonna rate these wings real quick. They're pretty generous with the ranch, but those wings are freaking hot. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's a good thing. You want hot, and I don't mean like spicy hot because I haven't even eaten it. But oh yeah, that's a good wing. Mm. Good though. Oh, it's a high quality place right there. When they already got the wet naps. On the plate, you don't have to ask for them. You don't have to go looking for them. Already on the wing plate. We're gonna give this guy right here, chicken and gouda. Mm. That, that's pretty gouda. All right, now we're gonna try this pineapple pizza, which is, I don't know, I don't know. I got no pineapple in that bite. That's a good pizza. It is not as good as the Gouda. It is not as Gouda as the Gouda. 
You got the chocolate covered cheesecake. Give me that peanut butter. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Solid. Solid cheesecake. Solid's out of review. Y'all should be professional cheesecake <laughs> reviewers. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Cheesecake is house made, by the way. Y'all make this cheesecake here. Yep, we sure do. Cheesecake Factory doesn't do that. How can a place called Cheesecake Factory not make their own cheesecake? Like that seems like that would be illegal. Exactly. Y'all need to check out Pies and Pints. Now, full disclosure, Pies and Pints reached out, thought we would enjoy the place, and invited us over. And I know I'm supposed to be on a diet. I'm supposed to be eating better. And y'all will see in a couple of these videos, we hadn't been sticking to that, but I'm getting back on the horse. It's coming. I fell off at Talladega, but y'all know I love pizza, but I'm a sucker for free pizza. So there's no way we could turn this down. So I want to support the folks who support us here at Bruzel. And again, it's really, really good pizza. Whatever the one, what, what's the pizza we had? What, I can't even remember what we just had. The white sauce pizza. We'll put it on the screen right here. Whatever that pizza was, that was the stuff. Have that one. Don't have the scallions. Scallions are stupid. They're just for looks. They don't taste good. Just get that without the scallions. We call it the Brusel Special. They've got locations all over the place. I happen to be in Dayton. They got so many locations. I got to freaking read them. We'll show them on the screen here. But they're in Alabama, Indiana, Ohio, West Virginia, Kentucky. I mean, it's really good stuff. And if you mention Brusel, they're going to give you 10% off your order and non-alcoholic drinks. They're not giving you a discount on the beer. I can't. I don't have that kind of clout, okay? But y'all check out Pies and Pints for me, if you will. And let me know if you've ever eaten in one. Tell them. Bruzel sent you and they'll give you 10% off. And what you think of that Bruzel special? Which channel do you watch on? YouTube, TikTok, what are you? YouTube, yeah, okay. you Okay. Have you seen any of the bourbon hunting videos? The long form yeah, bourbon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in the middle of one right now. The one of those is going on right now. And we're here, where are we at? Centerville Liquor and Wine. Okay, Centerville Liquor and Wine. And we've to we're told that this is the land of Weller. You think we're gonna find any? <laughs> you ever heard of Painter? That's local? Now, are they distilling it or are they sourcing it? Do you know? Sourcing it. It does say bottled by, so they're not telling us where they got it. So I typically won't buy those unless somebody tells me they're really, really good. There's another place here that's kind of unique and neat if you've not ever heard of it. It's Indian Creek Distillery. It's a local farm from back in the 1800s. They had their distillery. The pot stills were put up in the top of the barn when Prohibition went and they dug them back out. Oh, wow. Out in the late 80s. So they got the original stills and everything. Original stills. I think they're the oldest hot stills in the United States. And I think the second oldest in the world. Dietrich. Dietrich. Fine whiskey, straight rye, 104 proof, 53 gallon barrels. Do you know if they make this? Four barrel, four grain, distilled and bottled by Bell of Dayton Distillery. I mean, they make it, it's a four grain. They're claiming they're using 53 gallon barrels and toasted. Sounds like a quality whiskey, so we'll give that one a try. Well, we'll open it in the parking lot if you want. That's what it's for. All right, y'all tell me what I'm missing. I know I'm missing something. Somebody, every one of these, somebody's like, oh, you should have grabbed that bottle. And I was like, dang it. You're right, once they explain it. What, what's, are you pronouncing that right? <laughs> Probably not. Produced and bottled, right? Produced doesn't mean distilled. Produced can be blended. If it does not say distilled. that they distilled it, then there's a strong chance that they indeed did not distill it. Produced is a very magical marketing term. The Middle West was the one that says sourced, right? Originally distilled and bottled by Middle West. That's the first time I've ever heard anybody say, we originally did it. Like, I don't know who did it before you got it, but originally <laughs> we distilled this stuff. Full bodied, four grain, straight weeded bourbon whiskey, Michelin Reserve. I gotta get something local. Aged over three years. Don't tell me how many. These guys are really clever. This is a wheat whiskey and this is a weeded bourbon whiskey. So I'm gonna go with the straight weeded bourbon. Hey, did our buddies leave? We're gonna open that in the parking lot and they just left us. I don't know what it is about me trying to meet people. That'll... Listen, happily married. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to pick up a date in a liquor store, but apparently it's a bad idea because every time I try to make friends in a liquor store, it just they just bounce on out on me. There's some stuff hiding behind the Five bar up there. Million. Yeah, Jack Daniels single barrel barrel strength back there. Uh, 23 year golden apple. Look how beautiful that bottle is. They took a whiskey and they put it in a barrel and they aged it for 23 years. And they got it out and they said, this is so good. <laughs> we're gonna put a bunch of green apple flavoring in it. Yes, sir. <laughs> in my defense, you were standing back there by the refrigerators. Get up there and look at that crown 23 year 
And then the back's behind it. It looks really nice, too. And this is only the Ooh. finest green apple flavored 23 year old whiskey. Hey, and I know you don't have that. I don't have it, nor do I want it. Is that that's a Gucci bag? Oh, they are. Look at these leaves. They're back. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Look, they got Glen Cairns. We should have bought Glen Cairns so we could pop this bottle in the parking lot. Y'all went with the fray. You went with, I see, I see that top. You, somebody gonna have to hold it because I can't. I'm really bad at opening things, if y'all don't know. This is my Achilles heel. This is my kryptonite. Okay, y'all take that glass right there. And we're gonna do the. Yeah, that's, that's how we do it here in Ohio. I'll have to try it in a Glen before I give a full rundown and review of it, but you like that? Belmont Party Supply. No shirt, no shoes, no service. I'm good. I'm good. I have all that. But what I don't have is Weller. It seems like a myth. Rubicon Creek Distillery Blend. Settled in 1796, reawakened in 2020. Distilled in Indiana. What is this just hanging out in an ancient age bottle right here? Canadian whiskey. Is this... Is this produced by Buffalo Trace? Imported and bottled by Sazerac. So it is an ancient age bottle. This was supposed to be just Weller lying in the floor down here and it's not y'all are sitting on the throne of lies here can i see that bottle of 2xo right there please the innkeepers blend right there 2xo two times oak by dixon deadman it's sourced it's blended but i've been hearing really good things about it what's your price on that bottle so it's a hundred dollars y'all let me know did i mess up because i'm gonna leave that one at 99 dollars maybe just something you're better at begging than I am. I'm I'll trying, give you that. I'm trying. Yeah. We are headed to the bottle drop. Now, how often do they get allocated bottles at this place? Hopefully, once a week. Is it once a week? Every week they get every a truck and they may be allocated bottles on it? There may not be. Correct. Okay, so we're just rolling the dice and hoping the first truck of the month is the truck that has bottles. Weller bottles, not just any bottle. We need a Weller bottle. We had a little little issue with Maggie this morning. She's running a little, she's idling. She's running great. She's idling a little rough. So we got to adjust the idle. So we just decided to go in the tundra here. We'll deal with her shenanigans later. She's probably a little upset because I hadn't seen her in a month. Um, so we'll, we'll just have to rekindle our romance there when we get back to the house. We are here at State Liquors and it looks like we're about a dozen in line. Let's go kill an hour. <laughs> Supposed to drop the Thursday A, so there's a possibility it might be here today. Uh oh. Totally. There's a chance that Jack Daniels 12 might be here today. So, when they get things here, how many bottles do they normally get of something like that? Well, sometimes it's six and sometimes it's 12. Okay, so full, they ship in full cases too. Yeah. Are they just going to drop it in the floor? Like, what's the scene look like when they yeah. open this thing? They just, just walk in. You just walk in and you got to find it? No, it's like on the floor. Yeah, you, but you're in line and then you just walk yeah. in and you go to the designated area and grab what you want out of the floor. Yep. Okay. Pretty much it. There's a bunch of other stuff probably been there for two or three weeks. Everybody wants. So, the lesser allocated stuff. All right, it's about 15 minutes till the store opens and everybody is starting to line up. What happens if there's like a discrepancy in where people think they are? Do we arm wrestle? Is it like rock, paper, scissors? How do we, how do we handle that? Okay. Who's first in line? What time did you get here? <laughs> That's how it would be back home. All right, we are going in and apparently they just let everybody in here. So we just cattle call on in here and see what we get. But we are like 13th and 14th in line, I believe. I, want, I need that buffalo right there. See that buffalo? That's what I need. Some bird dog right there if you're looking for it. You want some bird dog? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me two like that. No, they're allocated. You can only get one. Scotch? You need some scotch? No, I don't, definitely don't need any scotch. There's some hat. All right, so I ended up, uh, for all that, got some bookers. Not a bottle I was looking for, but I owe somebody a bottle, and, and that will pay off that debt, so that's good. I appreciate Pies and Pints. That was exceptional last night, but they actually sponsored this video, helped our bourbon budget out a little bit, and fed us some fantastic food, so shout out to them for that. We always uh, want y'all to help support the folks who support us. They made this bookers trip up possible, but we got a little debt to settle. We got a little debt to settle. We, we'll, we'll settle that up at the house though. Man promised me, bet me even, that we would find Weller in Ohio. And we didn't. So because I didn't, I am going to find Weller in Ohio. You found Weller in Ohio. I owe you. 
Can't beat a bottle of Antique 107, one of my absolute favorite bottles in the entire world. Man, it's been a blast. I appreciate it. Good, bro. All right, so we are tied. We, we got Maggie here. We had to do a little idle adjustment on her. She's ready to rock and roll. I'm headed to Louisville, Kentucky. We're going to do some barrel picks. We'll see y'all in the next video.